That's right guys, we're back hunting, but today we're doing something different. As you can see, we're playing my favorite hunting game, Way of the Hunter. All right, the more realistic hunting game out there. Probably the most realistic hunting game out there at the moment. I've had this since day of release. I pre-ordered it a couple years ago. Um, I've put, if we check here, I put 94 hours into it so far, which may not be a lot considering it's, you know, I've had it for like over two years. But, you know, I have to be in the mood to play something like this. You get me? So we're back with hunting. Um, I'm probably going to just continue free hunt around Ticket Moon Plains. Just see what we come across. You know, any three stars, four stars, five stars, any rares, whatever. We're just going to see what we can get today. So give this video a like, man. Do you know what I mean? Because you already know what I'm about. You already know I'm going to deliver the goods in terms of uh, the video here today. I'm spawning off in the middle of uh, middle of the desert. Let me get my bearings. All right, so it's 11.18 a.m. What I think I'm going to do is I'm going to just start going to this hunting stand. You can see our wind is blowing that way, you know, towards the direction I'm facing. I think I'm just going to tracking marker, is it? Nope. I prefer the exploration markers, actually. We're going to throw an exploration marker there. Yeah, man. We're just going to go on a on a little hunt. If I'm not mistaken, I'm playing on Hunter uh, difficulty. I say if I'm not mistaken, we'll, we will find out once I, you know, harvest an animal, what I'm actually playing on. Look at this view, man. Over the plains. Very nice. So today, um, gun-wise, inventory-wise, we're rocking the Steyr SM12. Which is the 300 win mag. We got the bow. Jesus, I don't remember bringing this with me. Hunting tier 1 to 6 though. You can take out everything in the game with this bow. And it's ethical. Um, We got, you know, the Bushnell Prime binoculars here. Oh, oh we got some hyenas out there. They're calm. Three star mature right there. See, I think we're going to take that out. Because it, it, it's already a mature, it's a one star adult. They're 240 odd meters away, but standing quite perfect. Then again, then I gotta go into the encyclopedia. What tier is fucking hyenas? Probably f maybe five, they're quite big. Spotted hyena, yeah, tier five. And my gun is for six. So it's not ethical. I can take it, but it's not ethical. I'd have to call him in real close to hit him with the bow, though. I don't give too much of a fuck about being ethical right now, though, <laughs> to be honest. Jeez, I'm so zoomed in. I've lost him. Oh, there you are. It, it was the one at the back. Our first kill may be a little hyena. Is a mature female. I feel like with hyenas, the females maybe should be the trophies, because I know they they grow quite a lot bigger than the than the males. I'm pretty sure the females are the ones that are like the leaders of the pack as well. In hyenas, I could be wrong, but oh, they're already within like within like 200 meters or something. Also, only thing is I got to keep track of which fucking. That's another annoying thing is you can't spot them with the scope. And it, you've seen how long changing, so I'm going to change to my binoculars now. Puts the gun away, takes that out. So the free star is that one, okay. But then, how long it is to take my gun back out. And now which one is it? Is it that one on the left? Or the one on the right? A bit of a headache. Okay, so the hyena is making terrifying noises. Okay, it is that one. But then the female is standing right next to it now. I never like taking one star adults out. For reasons I've already mentioned. You know, you go to harvest it and then, you know, it says fucking great genes, 99%. And you're like, oh shit. See, now all of a sudden he's at the front. I 
I think he's that one there, though. Okay, it would be pretty much dead on. I'm just gonna, I'm just gonna go for that shot. There's like a decent amount of blood there. Oh yeah, man, he looks rocked, boy. Could be, should be the first kill. Limping, limping. These lot are tough. Dropping blood everywhere. God damn. That's a three hundred bullet as well. It ate that shit, man. Boom, dead. Let me mark that. Let me mark that shit, man. Also, animals in this, when they bed down, aren't necessarily dead. They kind of just, when they know, see, look how he's, I did get the right one. See how it's still spotting him? Because he's not dead yet. They just like, they know that they're dying and they kind of just lie down and wait for it to happen. It's really cool. So I can actually, if I rush over there, I can spook him. So he'll get back up and start running again. Which can also happen in real life. I've seen it. Spotted hyena down. God, he's taken, okay, he's dead now. He took a long ass time to die. So what we're going to do is we're going to go claim him. Stand back up. That's not ideally how I want how I want to do things. And I do want to go get another rifle. Fuck the bow. I don't have patience for the bow today. But at the same time, it's annoying because you can only carry two guns. They've kind of made up for it because like if I go back to the inventory, there's like under the... I guess where you see that bullet symbol under the picture of the gun on the top left, you can carry three different types of ammo for each gun. So I guess that's a way... I haven't had a look at it properly because I haven't played the game since the update. But I think that's a way you can get around using one gun for multiple different like tiers of animal. Is I'm assuming you can take ammunition for lower... For big things, for small things, but within the same gun. If, if that makes any coherent sense at all. So what I want, do want to do is I want to see. So this was look, pink blood, medium amount of blood and air bubbles. So it means it was a long shot, basically. Um, especially with the air bubbles. So what, what I want to do is I want to go to the first blood splatter. Just to show you guys. Anyone that hasn't seen Way of the Answer before. Just to show you basically what it looks like. How it differs from Call of the Wild, I guess. What is that? Is that a buffalo? It's a rock. All right. So this is it, all of that blood from, this is the first. So pink, medium amount of blood, air bubbles. And it says there, the animal expires slower and maybe further away. And then, you know, you can follow this blood track. So I've changed the blood to make it literally like, like neon pink. Um, it's just so it's easier to follow and track, but there is this thing called Hunter Sense. When I press triangle, the blood track, blood trail like glows, which is quite cool. But look how, because I've changed the color of the blood, and how the terrain looks, I don't need it. Because look at, look at this clear... It literally is like a, a trail of paint leading me to... What are you laughing at, you fucking bitch? And just leading me to my uh, to my kill. I really like the way they've done that in this game. And here we are. Our first kill of the hunt. Little hyena. What we're going to do, actually. We've got to commemorate it. Let's take this out. Let's pose up. All right. That's going to have to do, I guess. Hi, GY. Poor hyena. Take a picture of that. We're looking badass, though. And here is the, the harvest screen for Way of the Hunter. So spotted hyena coming. Uh, we double lung. We hit the both the lungs and the artery as well, as you can see. Brilliant, brilliant shot, to be honest. From 124 meters out. So we have a five star hunt rating, which is a surprise because I used a tier six rifle on a tier five animal. So it actually had 73% genes. Uh, it, it's, it's like genetic potential. So it wasn't going to be anything special. Um, maybe three stars was the highest it could have been. And then you can see the sell price, only 180 coins, whatever the currency is. And then you have the breakdown. So the animal weighs 79.48. And because I used the high caliber, we lost, you know, four and a half kilos of that. And obviously it sells per kilogram. So we're losing money, basically. We're clapping it with such a big, do you know what I mean, uh, gun. But the, um, 
scoring is by the length of the skull and the width of the skull, which combined gives us a 452.7 score for this gorgeous creature. Zoom out. There we go. The models are really nice. Show organs. That's creepy. All right, so that's our first kill. We're going to sell that. Only 180 smackaroons there, but I'll take it. And then we're going to like travel somewhere else, man. Oh, look at fucking, look at this pride of lions. Bloody hell, where are you lot going, fam? You can already tell from here the lion models look amazing. Why are you guys moving on? It's not three o'clock here. Oh, I need to get within like spotting distance of them. I'm really far right now. I can see them. But when you press this triangle to like spot them. Oh, there we go. We're getting information now. We've got a one star young, one star adult. One star mature. So we need to take that one out. So the ones with the black manes are usually older. One star mature. Once this pride it has terrible genes, bro. One star adult. Two star mature. So what ideally what you would like, what you would want to do is take out the poorest genes first. So any of the one star matures, basically. If you can try differentiate which one is the oldest. Usually their fur and everything changes colour. You know, the darker their the main I I think with lions, the older they are, their mane just goes like black when they're really old. And obviously their fur will be a bit I guess lighter, like a bit greyer. So we're 300 meters away. And this one, this guy already looks like he knows we're, we knows we're here. This, by the way, is a terrifying sight if you're there in person. <laughs> Fuck that. Let's get closer to these lions. And um, yeah, man, let's take one. See, this one's quite old, isn't it? One, one star adult, not really. There's, there's, a, well, there's a one star mature there. The ballistics in this game are really good as well. Um, as I'll, I'll go into more detail, I guess, in a sec. So we've got two one star matures just literally broadside right now. So we're going to take out our, our primary here. I think they were 240 or so meters away. Let's zoom the fuck back in. Okay, now look at all this zoom. All right. So we can press triangle and, you know, help it guide us if we wish. Um, it's pretty. The shot is pretty much just going to be dead where I'm aiming at the moment. What about if we go 300? It'll be we'd have to aim a little. I guess a little lower. Okay, let's crouch. We may even be able to get some double penetration here. Pause. Let's put it right there. Hopefully, that's right behind the shoulder. He doesn't look like he's really slowing down at all. Animals can go aggressive in this as well. So what we're going to do is we're going to mark where we... Roughly where we shot. And then we're going to go see the, the information from the blood splatter. See if it was even a good shot or not. I don't really know. He didn't react like it was a good shot, to be honest. But lions are just tough, man. They're tanks. All right, let's find that blood. It doesn't look very good. It doesn't look very big, to be honest. Red, small, and it even says at the bottom, animals survive. So where the fuck did I hit that then? The, the weapon sway in this game is a joke, man. So that was a terrible fucking shot. Maybe I'll take my anger out on a honey badger. I don't know what tier they are. I can't remember. Maybe tier four or something. Seems like they should be even smaller than that. There he is. That's a one star adult. Yeah, fuck it. So 69 meters out. Perfect. We're going to go for our secondary. I think we can zero in for 75. No, we we can do 50. Bitch, where the fuck are you going? All right. And just fucking obliterate it like that. I think the lions are long gone. Look at the way the guns look, by the way. It looks so cool. So detailed. So realistic. All right, Honey Badger down. Let's, let's get a look at these models. Let's 
There it is. RIP, little homie. We, yeah, I mean, that double lunged from 74 meters. Not a big deal. As you can see, that difficulty hunter. Also, one star hunt rating. And we probably clapped all the. Uh, it was a good one to take out, though, because 34% on the jeans there. Just below where it says 7.25 kg. Um, let's get a better look at the models here. Look at the fur and everything, the color. Nice. So it weighed 7.25 kg and we lost six and a half from the shot. So we only had less than, you know, one kilogram to actually sell. Right, so here's our lodge. We got three five star QD. Look at look at the size of the five stars, boy. Let's edit. Let's see. We've got this one on the 17th of August. This is number one at 10.26 a.m. Three days later at 7.44 p.m. We got this one. Second one. And actually same day as the first, we got the second. So two hours apart, the 17th, 10.26. 17th, 12.47. And then three days later, we got our third. Not bad, not bad. Uh, we don't have many trophies in here, as you can see. I only really want to put five stars in the lodge. Look at the size of these tusks on Pumbaa. Got a five star warthog. There we go, on the 20th as well at 8.09 p.m. So we got the warthog and the last kudu within 20 minutes of each other, right? Um, 17th, 20th, yeah, 7.44 within 20 minutes. That was a productive day, a productive few days. That's when I used to bang this game up. And we got this ugly bastard here. This is an Egyptian goose. We got it on the 14th of August. There's animals everywhere. Look at the kudu over there. Oh, that's quite a big one, actually. Oh, shit. Hold up, fam. Big man, what are you? Look, they're, they're, bo they're both quite big, man. What the fuck? They're small. They're small. What are you guys? Let's have a look. Let's calm down now. Let's calm our bitch ass down. That's only a two-star mature. That's also only a two-star mature. See how big their horns are? That's only a two-star. I think their life cycle is decently long, is it? I don't really care. For now, I'm just going to take this one out. 260 meters out. 290? 260. Switch back to the first. Hold on. Let me check what QDR are and shit, man. Uh, are they tier 6? Yes, they are. They're massive. So what's their life expectancy? They live for 8 years. Um, Not very long. So if it's already... So they're only mature for 3 years. And if they're only 2 stars as a mature, it's not looking good, bruv. So what I'm going to do, because my confidence is down from the last one, I'm going to use this view here. Just to guide where... My, oh, Jesus. Yeah, just to guide where my bullet goes and instantly drop it. The other one doesn't give a fuck. Well, I mean, he... The rest scarpered. There you are. Ah, terrible, terrible, terrible. All right, fuck it. One great Akudu down. Look at that. That's quite a bad air, Ash Court. Um, can I change the time of day, maybe? See if we get any better lighting. What about later in the day? That's nice. That's quite nice right there, boy. Hold on, let's pause game this time, just because he keeps bobbing. Let's go a bit higher up. That's pretty nice, pretty nice. All right. Double lung shot. I mean, it lost... You can see the graph on the right there. It lost The bullet lost all momentum. It hit the first lung with enough energy, like right in the kind of the energy you want as it says at the bottom recommended hit energies in green so kind of the energy you want and then obviously lost a lot of steam because these are big big creatures um these these are beasts look it weighed 303 kilograms it's 62.5 percent so it was a good one to take out it wasn't going to get any bigger uh, before it died look at this look at look at the models look at the size look at the side the side of it look at the absolute size of it Still, that's only a two star. Look at the size of the horns. So it just goes to show the five stars I have in my lodge and how big they are and how big they really looked when I when you know when when I saw them out in the wild. Look at the curves on it. Oh, great Akudu was so so nice. Kill shot was single lung, and we get six hundred and thirty one for this one because 
there were still 300 kilograms of meat to sell at 2.1 pounds per kilogram. 372 out of 500 trophy score. We'll sell that. You know, we have 29k anyway. So it's, we don't really use money much in this game, <laughs> to be fair. Uh, for now, I think that's it. That's our first foray on the channel to way of, into Way of the Hunter. I know it was quite a short one. I'm after editing, I'm assuming. As we find the rest zone that those Kudu often use. Uh, but yeah, it's a beautiful game, man. Let me know if you want to see more Way of the Hunter. I am bringing more Call of the Wild. I, I will bring Call of the Wild back, I promise. I just haven't had time to record for three, four hours just to get a 15-minute video lately. Do you know what I mean? Uh, but I appreciate you if you watched it this far. It's all love, man. Uh, leave the video a like. Comment down below if you do want to see more and uh, of this game and you know what you would like me to hunt what maps and if you even even you know want to see more of this game i think i'm gonna leave you guys to it i'm not gonna hold you any longer and until next time you know bye bye